the latest scandal, the latest scandal exposed the latest scandal about the mega church pastor. I don't know if you heard about this, but I'm going to I'm going to talk about this very very candidly. The latest mega church scandal going on right now. The latest mega church pastor Man, this this is hot news. Have you heard about this? Have you guys heard about the latest scandal? I, I'm about to expose it right now live. Um, some shocking information that you might not have known. I gotta hurry up and get to my destination. So I gotta drive, but man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put you all up on this because this is, this is crazy. This latest stuff. I mean. Viewer discretion advice. I mean, because this is just. This latest thing going on is absolutely crazy. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about it. Have you guys heard? Have you guys heard of the latest scandal? Have you heard what's going on in the latest mega church? Have you heard what's going on? <laughs> man, this is crazy. Oh man. I don't know what it just did. So here it is. You ready? Here it is. Watch this. As I was scrolling through Facebook, I saw all these posts about all these things going on, all kind of ministers posting, all kind of things uh, uh, being posted on uh, on social media. The latest, I mean, just just you know, and then all the, the the gossip columns and the blogs were talking about all kinds of stuff um, that's going on, and I thought, oh my God, I need to go ahead and make this video. And, and, and the reason why I'm making this video about the latest scandal, uh, and I really want to call it out, and I really believe it's going to shock a lot of folks, is because in all those posts that I saw on social media about all the stuff going on with pastors and all the stuff going on, I didn't see one post about how many people got saved at their churches last Sunday. I didn't see one post about how many people got healed. I didn't see one post about about what we're doing in the community. I didn't see one post about families being restored. I didn't see one post about marriages being healed. And you know why? We're more concerned with the latest scandal than we are with Jesus. And this is the most scandalous thing in the church right now, the fact that we don't really want to hear about the good news anymore. It's called negativity bias. <clears throat> the church has a sickness right now. It's a sickness, and this sickness has been induced by social media. It's been induced by television. It's been induced by the programming of our culture that we are more interested in which pastors are caught up in the latest scandal and drama and who's sleeping with who and which marriage just ended, and which celebrity pastor just fell, that we are not even interested in the kingdom of God anymore. We need to repent, because you, if, you, if you were more interested in who I was about to expose than who just got saved, you're sick. You have a sickness. You're sick on the inside, and you need deliverance. And there's a demon inside of you. I don't care what you say. Has ha, Have we descended this low into gossip and slander and fodder that we don't have enough self-examination to realize that we have a problem? So now folks want to log off. 
You know why people are logging off of this video? Because they are sick. They're sick. You have a sickness. They're logging off. Look at them. They're logging off left and right because you're sick. You're sick. You got a problem. You got a problem. There's a disease in your soul. There's a bitterness in you. See, see, we want to hear about this stuff. It tantalizes us. It excites us. It makes us happy to hear about somebody falling and somebody failing and somebody messing up. We want to hear about it more than we want to hear the word, more than we want to hear about prayer. If you post about prayer, people don't respond. But if you post about the latest scandal, people come out of the woodworks. You need deliverance. We don't even realize how much of a disease this is. It's so ungodly and filthy and wretched. Now, does God expose evil? Yes, he does, especially when people don't repent. Yeah, he, he does when people don't repent. God does expose. But where have we gone as a church that we love the gossip? We love it. The church loves it. We love to hear about it. Oh, who just got divorced? Oh, no, really? For real? We're not praying. We're not broken. Our hearts aren't torn. We're not, we're not fasting. We're not weeping over the fallen. We're not, we're not doing what the scripture says. He which, you know, the Bible says, if your brother be overtaken in the fault, let he that is spiritual restore such an one in the spirit of meekness, lest you also be tempted. We don't, we don't care about that. We just want to hear about the person that we were probably jealous of anyway. We, we just want to hear about that person descending into destruction while we watch from the bleachers. The spiritual bleachers. We're not in the game. We're not playing on the field. We haven't done anything for God. But you know what? We're excited about those who fell. We ought to be crying and weeping. Our hearts ought to be broken over those who have fallen. We ought to, we ought to be, listen, we ought to be disturbed in our spirit over the fact that yet again, the church has a misrepresentation going on. The church has another image that is pull, that is that is pulling people away from God. That is pushing people away from the gospel. We're not broken, and all you bloggers and bloggers, your day's coming. You, you, your day's gonna come. Your day's gonna come. See, I'm not saying we shouldn't expose evil and we shouldn't do things that that, that call out darkness, but we have been gloating over this and relishing these things. I don't want to hear about the gospel. How many people got saved in your service? How many crackheads got delivered from crack addiction? How many drug addicts got sober? How many alcoholics got delivered? How many women that were on the streets got set free? Think about this.